Hello everyone. Today I'm going to introduce to you a site uh, that I found very helpful to understand that uh, what uh, the uh, about the licensing and the features for Microsoft 365. So here uh, it is m365maps.com. So the owner of this uh, site, he actually created this as a very uh, interesting way and very helpful uh, to understand about the features of uh, your Microsoft licenses. Uh, so it, it could be helpful for you to choose the uh, right licenses before you uh, purchase uh, for your organization so uh, in here as you can see Microsoft has uh, five types of licensing tier uh, Office 365 Enterprise Microsoft 365 Business Microsoft 365 Frontline Microsoft 365 Enterprise and Microsoft 365 Education so uh, in this uh, site uh, uh, it is it is I found it very helpful to you know choose and or uh, the uh, current licensing and also can uh, it is it can also be helpful for uh, me to choose the right licenses for my customers so uh, let's say I uh, uncheck all the boxes in here now I want to, to talk about Microsoft 365 businesses so let's uncheck all the boxes in here so it will uh, give us a, a uh, you know so select none so uh, this will be helpful so now just select the one let's say i wanted to uh, know about microsoft 365 business basic license so in business basic what we get is uh, these features uh, and the most important one is the exchange online which is plan one right like 50 gb mailbox and uh, 50 gb archiving uh, included in here uh, in Microsoft Business Basic Teams is included. Also, there are two types of Microsoft Business uh, Basic licenses uh, provided by the Microsoft. It depends on uh, which version that you buy. Um, nowadays, Microsoft offering uh, the licenses with Teams and without Teams. So there is a price difference when you buy it or purchase it, Microsoft Business Basic with Teams or Microsoft Business Basic without Teams. So that's why it is uh, shown as optional and also uh, you can see is in OneDrive you will find uh, one terabyte of uh, plan and also SharePoint online plan one in, is in here and also a Microsoft intro ID uh, and then uh, for Windows uh, the these are included so it is a very detailed way to show that uh, what uh, you will get to this uh, if you purchase these licenses so what are in there or not what are not in there so you will find it in here so uh, let's uh, compare this with the business standard so as you know in business standard and business basic is uh, more or less is a, is the same licenses but the the very difference is in business standard you will get the Microsoft 365 apps so uh, you will get the Excel, PowerPoint and uh, Outlook uh, in, in the desktop version. But in Business Basic, you will not get the apps one. So just click in here and you will see the features. It's same, similar feature. Okay, so, uh, some uh, some of the, uh, you know, added like ClipChamp or uh, Loop Workshop, but these are actually not uh, widely used by the users. Uh, mainly, uh, the user uh, will be looking for these, uh, you know, particular areas like uh, business exchange online, how much mailbox they will get, and the OneDrive, and also the teams and the apps for, for uh, their licenses. So if you click on business premium, let's say just select on the premium, then it will uh, give the same thing. And also in uh, business premium is uh, archiving is 1.5 terabyte. And uh, uh, the mailbox is like 50 GB. And also it comes with the uh, 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 obviously web apps, uh, but it's business premium is more focused on, you know, uh, security so if you are concerned about the uh, security part then uh, you can choose this option so you can easily just select this three and find out the basic differences that you will get uh, with those licenses like 
in business uh, premium you will get all these things in business basic or business standard you will not get the defender for office 365 plan one uh, uh, you will not get the discovery standard but you will you will get uh, other things so these are the way you can easily find it and also uh, for the e1 you want licenses you will get all those features for e3 and for e5 so uh, what i actually like about this uh, and i wanted to uh, share it with you because uh, when you try to purchase the licenses then uh, you need to understand that which licenses are you know perfect for organization because the price difference uh, for a e5 licenses and a uh, e3 or e1 licenses is uh, very huge let's just check uh, so if you check on these enterprise licenses uh, you can see in here uh, e3 no teams is like 30 33 dollar per user per month and e5 is uh, no teams is 54 seven five dollar per month uh, so the difference is huge see so uh, you need to understand that uh, which license you will need uh, whether uh, the user need the e3 licenses or e5 licenses e5 is the highest level of licenses so uh, basically if you don't need that one for your organization then why you know uh, purchase this so this will be you know very uh, costly for you so uh, so uh, before uh, you know uh, purchases uh, purchase the licenses and then uh, you know say in the quotation if you are an IIT administrator or you know working with the Microsoft 365 then you can check this uh, site it is very helpful that I found uh, which actually uh, uh, show all the uh, features in here so you can uh, easily uh, send uh, extract it export this and then send it to the customer let's say uh, you just wanted to see share the features for business basic so just click on in here you can download it so it will uh, give you an xls file so you can easily uh, you know share this file filter this out and then share it though share it with your customer so it is very easy so you can also save the selection and then you can uh, export it so uh, i hope that uh, i found it very interesting and i found it very helpful uh, for me to uh, understand and choose the right product so you can look look this up and and see that uh, uh, you can uh, you can be helpful for this uh, so that's it for today uh, thank you